Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more EVE Online. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a double test because first of all I am testing a new ship for exploration. It's the Ashimu, very cool looking ship, definitely not a uh, super uh, high performing PvE ship but I think it's it's just very cheap as well for a faction cruiser so I thought I would uh, take it uh, for a spin and uh, secondly this video is going to be at like 1080p uh, while I'm playing at 4k so now I should have the ability to do that and I'm really curious to see how everything will perform uh, I happen to find a 4 out of 10 so definitely like the more challenging site that you can get and uh, I'm especially worried of course about the tracking disruption but this should be pretty interesting so I think we're going to start by going off to the right and then we're going to see if we can snap, uh, snipe off some of these um, smaller guys. Uh, something that is pretty interesting. So at 30 plus we're definitely not hitting anything. Um, so that's interesting. This one is at 34 and heading here pretty quickly. Let's start using that. Now he also has four medium drones which is not that bad. And we are getting hit by quite a lot of stuff so we need to oh and there comes the tracking disruptions this is going to be a real problem for me because my optimal is now down to 6000 i'm only going to hit at like 14k or something like that so i think we're just going to use the drones then and we're going to get started on some of these small guys so this is definitely still uh, something that is a real weakness but ooh, that was a good shot that was just a one shot on one of these targets and so now Let's see if we can target some of these guys. That one is taken down, no problem. Let's go for that. So we're still not hitting, but this one is at 14. And there is another advantage. I can actually whip up to uh, 20 kilometers. So this is hitting pretty well. And ooh, this is also what I was afraid of. Sending my drones out first without doing real uh, damage to any of these guys is very dangerous for the amount of aggro that they take. So they're in. We got a little bit of... Um, a little bit of damage in the meantime they are through my shields we're gonna continue to slow boat unfortunately we are not cap stable either and let's see if we can then start ah, now my tracking is i'm not being tracking disrupted so we probably won't be hitting that well to these close targets let's switch to someone that's at 22 can i finally do a 2-1 too far oh now i'm back to full <laughs> god damn it now, then they switch back so now this guy should be in optimal okay and we're still not hitting anything. This is a very interesting first test. I thought we would do better, but we are definitely seriously suffering. Uh, the one bit of good news, my tank is holding pretty well for just a straight take two uh, medium wrapper in the mid slots here. And we could then try to like speed away from the problems a little bit. So let's go like this. Let's see if we can take someone else down here. Fire lasers. And we are still really not doing too well. But we're pretty close to everything. And um, we are surviving. So another thing that I can try. While I do have to really watch my drones. Look at that. Half armor already. They really don't like them. Is to go after the cruisers then. Maybe I should have done that a little bit more early. Alright. Just almost running out of armor here. And a little bit of UI glitching I would say. But... We're making it. Let's take that cruiser down. And so that is actually pretty good. Now we're, we're not tracking disrupted. So let's see if we can hit that. Yes, we can. Can we hit this guy at 10? Let's web him. And let's hit that as well. Okay, that works too at 5. Let's give that a try. 5 kilometers. No, here we're going to start to have some problems. All right, cruiser at 12. Webbed and fire. That should be interesting. So I think mainly here what I'm going to have to do is um, to prioritize the right targets for the right weapon systems. That's basically going to become super important. The damage in and of itself from the lasers doesn't seem to be that bad, at least not from my personal perspective here. Still have one at 20. Let's see if we can hit that. Nope, we're probably just too tracking disrupted at this point. Let's see if we can maybe hit this one. Blop, and then I'm gonna send my drones off to these smaller targets. And I'm pretty, pretty slowly and consistently basically floating away from all the trouble. And look at all of those beams going in different directions. They're going after yet another one of my drones. So very interesting experience here so far. Tracking disruption also moved to my drone. So I should maybe have a little bit of time 
to dish some damage to these slaughters and here we go that's that's actually a thousand damage in a single in a single shot that is not that bad um, on one of these cruisers that's actually pretty impressive and then the tracking disruption is back of course and then we are back into trouble uh, let's maybe approach the gate then see if there's any targets a little bit nearby uh, this definitely is a lot less efficient than something like an Ishtar something like a Gila on the other hand this does look very cool this ship is just crazy good looking especially I'm gonna flex a little bit when you can look at it like this at 4k that is very very cool and now we will uh, yeah, use these drones again and go again after maybe one of these guys let's go and we're basically gonna sit still and try to snipe the rest off i want at 16 is that hittable open fire yes that, now this this is not bad when i'm not tracking disrupted and we have these one shots like that that is satisfying that's actually pretty good so that's pretty impressive and they're again going after one of my drones so i should i should basically create try to create a tank drone meta where um so that uh, they're tracking disrupting my drones and not myself or i could always pull back uh, an individual drone but they will tend to switch to just another one very quickly so that is not always easy to uh, to manage all of that micromanagement but those man that is satisfying one shotting one of these um one of these frigates like that that does feel pretty good will these guys keep tracking disrupting me second room is gonna be a real challenge i think then considering how uh, how much effort we're having to put in on this first one let's press f on you you're at 22 so he's still far away from us all the way back there gonna send the drones in there it is ah those shots do look very very nice and then the the, the drones as well doing their work those little beams very cool very cool in my book all right next up here we get the mutilator i'm gonna whip him let's see if my oh and something of course i did also put in some some different types of ammo so that's maybe something that i should have tried a little bit more of as well you can see my my caps not doing that great uh, but perhaps i could also try to snipe a little bit more with like the standard should have much better range and, and perhaps be able to handle that so that's something that will that will maybe try in the second room because i'm obviously going to suffer quite seriously and if they um if they come after me uh with tracking disruption while i'm trying to take down the true sancha wreck uh that is not going to work so here we go second room we're actually gonna start off with standards hope that we can actually snipe a little bit better take some more distance um and and be able to basically uh, get some macro before i deploy my drones i'm not sure if it's gonna work but that's gonna be the attempt uh also trying to save a little bit of cap so that i can maybe use my afterburner as well and yes this is going up to 40 plus kilometers so if i get tracking this we will be in trouble this range though should perhaps be able to hit that let's see if we can so there go my lasers gonna sit still for the start now we'll, we'll get quite a bit of noise and i think we'll just basically slowly uh, try to pull back from this stuff we're not hitting anything just yet and this is of course the problem jesus christ and three more that reduces my optimal range to just 13 kilometers at maybe 30 ish i should perhaps be able to hit something though so yeah should fall off is 14 we're, we're able to go up up to uh, like 30 kilometers normally but we are completely missing our targets at this point oh there we go at 27 we just got a hit in and the second shot with these standard crystals did just make it there's another one shot that's not bad all right let's see if uh, if i can basically use the standard here to try and take care of some of these slower small guys that was yet another hit so that's pretty good there we go you're gone next one get me another firing solution a blop he's gone okay standards one shotting these guys that does help a lot so that's actually pretty impressive oh, okay i have to keep firing while i'm targeting as well next one now he's at 13 can i oh i can still one shot that oh and i can of course also whip these guys when they start to get a little bit closer so that'll work maybe i'll try and we'll try to pull away a little bit more as well 
three. Blop, another one shot. Very good, very satisfying. Next shot, there we go. Tank is not really in any danger. Blop, oh, that, that is... I mean, I, I, I thought we would need, like, our... Um, our best ammo, uh, high damage ammo to do something like this. But uh, that is surprisingly good. Let's see how we deal with that phantasm then. Open fire. He's at 18. That is going to probably take a little bit more effort. In come the missiles. But look at how well I'm, I'm tanking this. And this is honestly, this is just a medium armor rep too. So this is really nothing special. And then, let's see... Uh, they do rip back uh, a little bit more than what we like, but can we break that tank? Let's see if we can. Yes, we can. All right. Not not bad. Okay. Maybe with like all the types of ammo, even for really long range, that we could have something interesting here. The tracking disruption is also starting to slow down, obviously. As I'm taking care of all of these frigates, that should start to fall off. Uh, we get one more frigate back here that's probably stuck in the structure or something like that. And then we have some mutilators and the true Sancha is still back there as well. So no tracking disruption and then zap, he is just gone. That means that I'm now going to switch to my blood multi-frequency. And we're going to get started on some of these cruisers. We're going to add our drones for extra damage as well. Like this. And look at some of these shots are not not bad that beast is just being demolished very good next let's go like that let's go like that and then maybe we'll let's see where he's at true sancha foreman all the way back there only one mate with him so that should be doable let's go and i'm kind of hoping that we did enough damage to now keep away from um from all of the, the uh, the aggro on the drones that they'll just stay on my ship. So let's take that one down and then we'll go for the true sancha. That's of course F3. I'll, I'll maybe do the optimal orbit. Should be around 15 kilometers for my optimal range. And then let's see how badly uh, it takes it to in order to take him down. But tanks holding. And... Mm. We are definitely still going through his shields. My drones are doing work. The visuals here, though, I can see so much better that we have these, these Sasha cruisers here. And um, uh, the, the drone beams, all the enemy beams. It is pretty damn cool. Oh, and I'm not hitting him. That's why this is going so slowly. There we go. Let's add in that damage. Let's maybe use a little bit more cap as well. And use the afterburner to get some speed. And ooh, yeah, that was definitely a big mistake. I think he would have been down at this point. Let's dive for the loot then. Because now my armor is being tested. Go, go, go. Uh, last time they said, why the hell don't you overheat? Let's try. Ooh, Rex are not here. So I'm actually going to keep moving. Uh, press 3. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And uh, Ricks are not on this one. Luckily, I do have an alt tap. Let's try to snag that. <laughs> Let's see if we still can turn within range. Loot all. Return to drone bay. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. Now I'm going to be sitting still. Jesus Christ, all of this is going to take me quite a little bit more time to get used to. But we'll make it. Get the afterburner, get in warp, and, well, it feels like uh, quite a bit of an adventure. It does take a pretty damn long time, but, honestly, the Ashimu, for its price, has the potential. I think there's still a lot to do with the fit, there's still a lot to explore with maybe different crystals and things like that. And, uh, yeah, with a little bit of more management and, and better flying, I think there is a way to, to really make this ship work as well for uh, exploration. Very impressed, honestly. And um, another thing that I quickly want to mention as well, a big advantage of using this faction cruiser is that you can do the drone sites as well, which the Ishtar cannot. And that potentially is, um, yeah, some really 
big money as well uh, that's way easier than this four out of ten but uh, there we go guys a first test with the ashimu and uh, honestly i think this ship did really well thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time